Because you know what time it is, Lady Ada? It must be time for new products. It's new products. Okay. I'm ready. We have an exciting amount of new products today. Okay, new products. All right, okay. first up, what is this stuff? This is the new pro, uh, proto pasta, not promo proto, proto pasta filament. It's 1.75 millimeter filament, and this is magnetic iron PLA. So it's PLA with iron in it. It's not conductive, I don't think. But it is magnetic, so if you can go to the overhead or the above screen, whichever. I'll go to the overhead. We got it. So, we'll use it. Yeah, so this is the filament. So here's what's cool about it. I got this little magnet here. And see, it sticks to the magnet. So you can make things that are that will stick to magnets. So if you if you attach a magnet to it, then it will stick to something else metallic, or if you have something that's magnetic. It'll stick to it. Now, it isn't a magnet itself. Like, this doesn't stick to anything metal, like a fork or anything. Um, and I don't think you could magnetize it, although you could try. Um, I think they say it, it can't be magnetized. But um, it can stick to magnets. So if you want something that is, is con um, magnetic, ferro ferromagnetic, uh, this is your filament. Okay. Ferrofilament. All right, next up. Um, this is kind of cool. This is... Uh we got a few uh, photos of it. This is the muscle sensor. Yeah, this is neat. So, uh, Advancer has actually had a many versions. This is like their third or fourth version of their muscle sensor. And I actually tried using the other ones and they worked, but I think that this one is kind of their best. And this is a demo of Angel uh, using it. And she's got awesome tattoos. And basically, you know, you, you attach it to your muscle um, and you attach it across the muscle and she's got pretty good biceps here. Or not biceps, what is it, tricep? What is, what is this Forearms. muscle? Forearms. Forearms, whatever, yeah. forearm muscle. And um, you can basically measure the, the, the spike of, of voltage uh, using an Arduino microcontroller, anything with an analog input. Um, I have it here, do you want to try doing a demo? I could try. Yeah, sure, I let's, could go try. To the, let's go to the overhead and see what happens. Sure, I, I, don't, I don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah. This may work, this may not work, but so yeah, you get the, this muscle sensor. And then um, you also have to get some electrodes, which we sell. And the electrodes have gel and they snap right on. They're, they're disposable, so you use them once. And it looks like you just put it across a muscle like that. It's not calibrated to me, so I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm willing to try it out. And then you put another electrode in a neutral place. And then let me power this up. Okay. No, it just thinks I'm like super strong. You're very, you're too strong. No, I have to calibrate. There's a potentiometer over oh, here yeah. that you have to calibrate, and I'm, I don't have time to do that right now. There's a little gain potentiometer, so you can tweak this, and then when you move your muscle, it will detect it, and and it will. I mean, the the video demo from Angel is best because of course she she had time to, to calibrate and set it up. But basically, you squeeze, and you measure the analog voltage output. But you do have to calibrate it. Once you stick it on, you have to twist the potentiometer so it knows the level of, of voltage that you're okay. outputting. All right, and then I guess we got a bunch of things that go along with this. Yep, we have a six pack of electrodes. You'll need electrodes. It doesn't come with electrodes. Uh, use one per use. Uh, you can also get these at any like uh, pharmacy or medical equipment shop. Um, but if you just want to get started real fast, we sell these really nice ones as a pack. And they snap okay. right on. And they don't use like latex glue, so you don't have to worry about um, itchiness if you have a latex allergy. Okay. Yep. Next up. It's There's all the more, same thing. Yeah, more photos. Okay. And then um, we had an LCD. Okay, so next up, whoa, there's multiple. Uh, there is um, a monochrome OLED. So um, we have had multiple OLEDs in different sizes. And uh, finally we have one in these nice large sizes that are not Huge because we had like a 2.7 inch one, and we had um, we have like the one inch ones, and this one is available in both 1.5 inch and 2.4 inch. Uh, it's really nice and clear. It has crisp white LEDs, 128 by 64, and it doesn't have a backlight, so you don't have to use more power than it would take just to light it up. But it also has really good contrast, so it's good for like outdoor use as well as if you don't know what like the light level is going to be because you don't have contrast okay. issues. We have a video. There's a video. That's a little bit of animation. And then just a photo of it on the top. And then 
Comes That's with some awesome. hitter, and we also give you a level shifter because it's three point three point three volt logic level. Yeah. So you'll want a level shifter using it with a five volt microcontroller like an Arduino. Just shows you. Works with our graphics library, and yeah. then do you want to go to the overhead real fast? And yeah, I'll, sure. I'll show it off. Yeah. So this is the demo. So you you don't usually see the flicker. That's just from the camera. Let's see if it no, it doesn't go away. But um. Yeah, you've got this version, and then I'll swap it out for the tinier one. They use the exact same code, just this one is a little bit smaller than this one. So, OLEDs. People like OLEDs. We now have them. Okay. You can use I2C, SPI, or 8-bit. All right, and then we have another one. I guess I could show it. It's pretty close. I yeah, mean, this is the, the small version. Yeah. It's, it's exactly the same, just smaller. Okay. Same pinout, same chipset, same code, All right. same everything. Yeah. So you can skip through these. Yep. Okay. And then tonight, the star of the show, besides you, is Feather. Da, da, da. All right. So this is a new platform, a new thing that we're doing. This is a limited blue edition. We're going to be switching to black. So yeah. get it get it while it's blue. It's not that I made a mistake in order to blue. Sort of yeah. So, Lady uh, Ada, what is, what is this board? So Feather is my um, kind of new idea for a dev board. Basically, you have got stuff like the Metro Mini and we've got like the Pro Trinket. And people want something with native USB, um, like, uh, like the Teensy or the 32U4 breakout. And so I wanted to design something that had built-in battery charging, because a lot of people end up getting our Pro Trinket in a backpack that allows you to add a light poly charging. So I thought, okay, well, you know, instead of having two boards, let's just mix it into one board. So this board has um, basically a plug that you can plug in a light poly battery for uh, charging, and it will charge over micro USB, or you can just run off a of micro USB if you don't want a battery, so you can hot swap if you want. Um, it has an Mega 32U4, which is a USB, microcontroller that's supported by the Arduino IDE really well. It can act like a USB serial converter, so you don't need an FTDI cable or anything, but also can act like a mouse or a keyboard or MIDI USB. We have a tutorial about doing that as well. Um, it uh, has pins on the side, so you have all the pins broken out um, and labeled. It has like 20 GPIO, tons of analog, SPI, I2C, all that good stuff. And um, there's even a little bit of a prototyping space on the end there. So if you want, you can basically solder in a sensor or LED or a button, and you don't even need to use a breadboard. And the idea behind this is actually there's going to be a, a series of these. So this is the first one. It's like the most basic. Um, but we're going to have one that has um, a, uh, a micro SD instead of a prototyping area, and like this is the panel for it. And so you would have a, a, a data logging version, and then I'll have one that has a Bluetooth energy module, so it's like the Bluetooth version. But they all have the same pinout and the same form factor, so you can kind of switch and swap whichever you want. So if you want to do a data logging project with Feather, you would use that one. You don't have to change anything else in your design or layout. OK. And um, just some other photos that we have yeah, of the board. Yeah, there's logo on the back, and shows you all the pinouts and stuff. Um, so yeah, we'll have, we'll have a lot of these. We'll have like six or seven different designs. Shows you you can plug into a bread, breadboard with a battery. It's super skinny because my micro USB. Yeah. Okay. And it's only like eight grams or something, and, and it's two inches by 0.9 inches. Light so on weight, heavy on features. Light on weight, heavy on features. Okay. Exactly and it. with that, Lady Ada is new products. You're done. Yay. Good work. That it's was new a products. That was new products. Okay.